having understood the operation of the metropolitan ethernet networks in the context of uh, uh, the technology such as the ethernet passive optical networking we know that metropolitan ethernet network is an amazing way to extend the coverage of ethernet lands however when it comes to different customer premises different administrative domains we actually have to isolate the metro ethernets into multiple ethernet domains for that the concept of bridging is important in this module we shall understand what these bridges do specifically the service provider bridges to the customer uh, networks and then we look at the operation specifically so the goal is to extend the scalability and the uh, coverage of ethernet networks for metro metropolitan areas for that the provider networks use the concept of provider bridges these bridges isolate like if you recall would uh, the bridges be used for isolating the broadcast domains in, in in ethernet so these provider bridges extend the network coverage to different customer networks it means multiple customer networks can be connected to each other through various service provider bridges the implementation of provider provider bridges is based on certain technological features the first one is similar to vlan id here an additional tag called the s tag is introduced it is again 12 bits in length so giving a total of 4096 different ids of which two are reserved for administrative purposes so it means using these identifiers then the multiple instances can be created from the customer network to another customer network through the user to network interface here the user to network interface is actually the interface between the customer network and the provider network through the bridges the since there isn't much change as far as the addressing is concerned so the source and destination mac addresses remain the same the source mac say is from the customer network on one end the destination mac is on the customer net uh, des, uh, customer network on the other end so it means that these two mac addressing remaining the same the additional id the sid is used to establish a link between these uh, end end to end networks so we see now we have the provider network using these 12 bits in addition to the um, uh, vlan id that is there in the customer network the vlan id essentially identifies different customers belonging to different administrative domains the vlan the virtual lans the provider network actually appears as one large ethernet network to the devices within the provider so it means the provider bridges are now going to utilize that s tag only to take the traffic from one end of the uh, provider network to the other end of the provider network that is from one customer network to another customer network consequently we have two lan ids essentially making 24 bit uh, um, vlan id that is why sometimes it is also known as the q in q tagging network let's look at the figure of it here we see we have multiple customer networks these customer networks are connected to the provider network through a user to network interface till the traffic stays within the customer network for the intra customer network traffic we have the source and destination mac addresses we have the vlan id here known as the customer vlan tag or the typical vlan id as we know it but when that traffic enters into the provider network then in order to make the uh, bridges within the provider network understand what to do with this traffic then a specific s tag is associated as you can see in here so this is the only addition that we see once the provider bridges are used to relay traffic uh, between the customer networks uh, uh, connected to each other via a provider network 